Check out the largest polar ice breaker in the U.S. Coast Guard fleet as we tell you more about their unique mission. The Coast Guard Cutter Healy is the most technologically advanced vessel of its kind to conduct critical research based primarily in the Arctic. It's the largest and most technologically advanced polar icebreaker in the U.S. Coast Guard's fleet. The Cutter Healy is longer than a football field and has over 34,000 kilowatts of power at its disposal. The Healy is truly one of a kind in the Coast Guard. The icebreaker deploys exclusively to the Arctic, but that's not the only thing that makes the Healy unique. Its scientific research mission sets the Healy apart from all other seafaring missions. This makes the Healy an important strategic asset to conduct critical research. With thousands of square feet of lab space, lifting cranes, and the capability to house 50 scientists, it's perfectly outfitted for its mission. On this first scientific expedition of 2017, Chief Scientist Scott Tripp is part of the Coast Guard's research and development team. The Healy is a fantastic vessel for us to work from. It gets us right where we need to be to develop technologies that are specifically suited for the Arctic. Right here is a 3D printer is active right now and it's printing a couple things. And we use this because in the Arctic, there's no hardware store around the corner. There's no infrastructure at all. We can't even pull into shore with this boat. That means if the scientists need a part that doesn't have to be metal, they can simply print it. It's working out so well, the Coast Guard is looking to outfit every Coast Guard ship with a 3D printer fleet wide. Autonomy is the name of the game for this particular mission. Using aerial and underwater drones, researchers are able to see what's going on wherever they're doing their research. The reason we're so interested in autonomy is because it is a force multiplier for the Coast Guard. Rather than sending two, three ships up, we can send one ship up, and if we've got this type of technology active out there, they can cover as much ground. It'll be cheaper, less people up there, and it works really well. Enter our first experimental piece of hardware. Simply called a mobile sensor platform, it's able to capture multiple video feeds and transmit them up to 70 miles away. We can put a multitude of uh, sensors on it, such as uh, you know, sensors for depth or sonar, uh, maybe a fluorimeter for oil detection. Placing one of these every 50 miles allows vast areas to be monitored and studied, whether counting marine mammals, looking for oil spills, or just checking for other ships. Another aspect of the Healy's research is how they work with other agencies. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA for short, is working to develop inexpensive technologies to collect precise readings researchers can use to improve weather prediction. So essentially what it does is it starts at the surface and dives down the water column using buoyancy uh, to control it. It has wings and a rudder that control pitch and roll and is designed to operate in shallow water, setting it apart from most other gliders engineered to work at much deeper depths. Not far away is a state-of-the-art oil skimmer. Because of the increasing uh, risk of uh, oil spill in Arctic, we need a, speci a specific skimmer to tackle the problem, how to skim properly in an icy water while the ice patches can block the way of the convention on the skimmer. You can look around you, you've got cranes here, you've got an A-frame off the rear, two, two knuckle cranes, we've got winches everywhere. We spend most of our time out on this deck, launching equipment, bringing it back in, launching small boats, running them out so that we can test our technologies. This is a great place to work from, and the unique part about it is it can get up into the ice, because we have things we have to do on the ice, under the ice, and around the ice. So we go right up there, we get right into the thick of it, and we really put our technologies to